I am just going to put all the books in here and yeah I'm gonna bring all the books out and put them on um, in the bookcase I moved my sewing table over there and we also got this rectangle table it's it's just like a like a picnic table uh, and it's plastic so yeah it's fairly um, inexpensive so we decided just to get um, get this instead of getting a an IKEA table since IKEA is very far from where we are at so I really like this one I might get one for my sewing or my cutting table so anyway I am going to give you an update later on so as you can see the situation here is crazy right there we anchored all the furnitures on the wall so they are nice and secure so now I'm just going to put all of my sewing stuff in that cabinet so those are all the books that we have I donated a bunch of them already so those are what's left so now I'm just going to put my my stuff in that cabinet so let's go ahead and do that as you can see when the movers move the the furniture they actually broke that that one so i'm just going to put it there i'm going to put all the the boxes so i'm just going to put it here don't know what to do with the chairs and these i don't know where to put them um yeah so I was thinking I'm just going to leave it like this and maybe I'll um, do some more organizing tomorrow. So as you can see, those are my fabrics. I was thinking I'm going to put my fabrics in the cabinets so they're not in the they're not in the bins anymore. And yeah, I I might put those in the kids' bedroom so I will have the chairs right on that side. So yeah, this is the progress. Yeah. And my desk is a mess over there. Okay, good morning you guys. So I uh, finally kind of figure out where I want this um, set up. There's my daughter just reading her book. So we decided to just do this, um, this layout. So the classroom is separated. So as you can see, I have a nice like a section here so that's going to be their classroom and the table is kind of separating my office area and the table so it's kind of separated so yeah we put the box right there because they need a like a small coffee table um, one of these days I'm gonna get a better coffee table but right now it works just fine yes yeah, so I really like it and that cabinets right there actually those are all my sewing stuff this section here is already certain that I wanted to keep it that way those baskets are going to be um, those are going to be like arts and crafts stuff extra books there um, the side here is my sewing area um, yeah nothing spectacular at the moment I'm just going to leave it like this you know no decoration nothing there I, I just want uh, to think it through, I may move my sewing area over here too. Now, I'm thinking of putting those two desks in their bedroom so I will have this space and I can have like my uh, background, um, my backdrop right there for my videos. So yeah, so the closet is, um, is kind of disorganized so I'm just going to leave it like that for now I'm going to organize that one of these days I'm not going to show it I'm not going to show that to you today but yeah so this is my layout at the moment and I put the TV under there because um, I think if we hang if we decided to hang it it's going to be right here because this is where the cable um, is so the TV is going to be hooked up right there but uh, right now uh, I don't know what to do with the table so I just kind of tuck it under my desk so it's out of the way hi guys good morning so today I am just 
vlogging again i decided to just do a random vlog today so uh, remember a few days ago i posted about the fly infestations in the house so a pest control guy just came over and look around the house you know nothing really there is no problem at all so basically it was the plant that was the problem so i am going to toss them in the trash can because i left them outside and they look terrible now they look brown now i am just going to buy me a fake fiddle leaf tree so i don't have to worry about fly infestations and and plus that type of plant is actually really hard to take care of yeah i water it all the time but it will still get like brown spots all over it so, oh by the way i went to goodwill so i finally dropped off the two bags um that i needed to drop off at goodwill at the donation later on i'm going to be filming a five dollar goodwill challenge i didn't participate during springtime because i was so busy that time because that's when we moved here I'm going to be filming that today so yeah I am just kind of exhausted the pest control guy was here for like two hours um, so he just kind of looked outside and inside of the house and he didn't find anything that's very concerning so I bought something off of Amazon um, a few days ago I was actually really surprised the shipping I chose the free shipping it's going to be like 10 days but I got the items in less than three days so that was really really cool so let me show you what I got it's a, a big item let me just grab it because it's waiting in the in the garage and it's a big item so I will have to put the camera down so I can actually get it this is not a sponsored video by the way my husband gave me a bunch of um, gift cards and I used all of it um, when I bought this. Okay, so this is what I got. Um, they actually have a teal one. Um, but I didn't get it because the red one is much cheaper. So I was just like, you know, red will do for like a few dollars cheaper. So it came with a with information here and like a disc. Okay, there you go. There is a fitness guide. I think it's yeah, or exercise guide, like things that it will do. This is what I wanted to use it for, but I also want to um, do it for this. So yeah, I want to get an abs like this. Yeah. So. so there is the exercise machine. It gives me um, back pain just looking at it. Just kidding. So anyway, um, I am going to test out my ma new machine. And after that, I am going to film the $5 um, Goodwill challenge that I am going to do today or I'm going to be participating in. So yeah, I will see you in a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to bring all the books out and put them on... Um, in the bookcase and I think it looks really nice I might move those two baskets on the bottom but yeah I'm really liking the progress here I move my sewing table over there and we also got this rectangle table it's it's just like a like a picnic table uh, and it's plastic so yeah it's fairly um, inexpensive so we decided just to get um, get this instead of getting a an IKEA table since IKEA is very far from where we are at. So I really like this one. I might get one for my sewing or my cutting table. So anyway, I am going to give you an update later on. So as you can see, the situation here is crazy right there. We anchored all the furnitures 
on the wall so they are nice and secure so now I'm just going to put all of my sewing stuff in that cabinet so those are all the books that we have I donated a bunch of them already so those are what's left so now I'm just going to put my my stuff in that cabinet so let's go ahead and do that as you can see when the movers move the the furniture they actually broke that that one so I'm just going to put it there I'm going to put all the the boxes so I'm just going to put it here so three items ready to go in there don't know what to do with the chairs and these I don't know where to put them um yeah so I was thinking I'm just going to leave it like this and maybe I'll um, do some more organizing tomorrow so as you can see those are my fabrics I was thinking I'm going to put my fabrics in the cabinets so they're not in the they're not in the bins anymore and yeah I I might put those in the kids bedroom so I will have the chairs right on that side so yeah this is the progress yeah and my desk is a mess over there okay good morning you guys so I uh, finally kind of figure out where I want this um, set up there's my daughter just reading her book so we decided to just do this um, this layout so the classroom is separated so as you can see I have a nice like a section here so that's going to be their classroom and the table is kind of separating my office area and the table so it's kind of separated so yeah we put the box right there because they need a like a small coffee table um, but it's just a box and I wrap it with fabric one of these days I'm gonna get a better coffee table but right now it works just fine yes so I really like it and that cabinets right there actually those are all my sewing stuff this section here is already certain that I wanted to keep it that way those baskets are going to be um, those are going to be like arts and crafts stuff extra books there um, this side here is my sewing area um, yeah nothing spectacular at the moment I'm just going to leave it like this you know no decoration nothing there I, I just want uh, to think it through, I may move my sewing area over here too. Out. I'm thinking of putting those two desks in their bedroom so I will have this space and I can have like my uh, background, um, my backdrop right there for my videos. So yeah, so the closet is, um, is kind of disorganized so I'm just going to leave it like that for now I'm going to organize that one of these days I'm not going to show it I'm not going to show that to you today but yeah so this is my layout at the moment and I put the TV under there because um, I think if we hang if we decided to hang it it's going to be right here because this is where the cable um, is so the TV is going to be hooked up Right now, I'm going to be planning my um, my wall decor over here. Uh, yeah, but not right right now. My desk is pretty empty because I already put all my sewing stuff in the cabinet behind me. So I really like I really like this, and I have the printer right there. That doesn't work. So that is our classroom slash sewing room slash playroom. Anyway, that is the situation. I'm kind of I'm kind blah, I'm kind of happy with the way it's um, coming along. I will talk to you in a little bit, and it's time for whatever. Hi guys. So today I am going to be updating um, our headboard. Uh, my husband and I made this headboard like. Um, four years ago, so I thought it's time to update it. So as you can see, it's gone already. My hu my husband did not wait until I can actually 
take a picture so I can have a before and after. So we already so we already moved the the headboard out of there. So I'm on the floor right there. I'm going to upholster it. So the first thing here that I'm going to show you is I went to let me just grab. Grab it. So I went to Joanne's yesterday. I actually used my coupon for this. So let me turn my camera like this. Let me get the receipt out of there. So I went to Joanne's and I bought a nice thick fabric and it's light gray. So yeah. So this is what I got. And this was 50% off. So I got a good deal on this one. So I got two yards, two and a half actually, and I will be using this. Um, I decided to go for uh, nickel finish. I believe it's called nickel. So as you can see, um, my color palette that I'm going for this time is white, light gray, and like a blush pink. Um, yeah, so this is what I decided to use. And yeah, so this is my material and I'm also going to be using uh, a staple gun and some staples so it's very very easy so this is the headboard oh no it's a king size headboard i'm basically just going to remove the the nails if i can do it and then i'm not going to remove the the fabric i'm just going to cover it it's gonna give extra thickness so yeah so there's no reason for me to remove the the fabric at all just the the nails these are very inexpensive these are probably like two dollars per 10 pieces you you might need at least three packs and there is the bed it actually looks really nice that it doesn't have a headboard right there so this makeover is going to take some time because i'm going to take my precious time um for this project because Decorating is something you don't want to rush, especially if you're going to do it yourself. So let's go ahead and start removing the, the nail head. Okay, you guys, I removed the nails on the board. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to replace the white fabric. I'm just going to cover it with the new fabric that I'm going to use. I may ask my husband to do this for me, but if I can do it myself, I will try. He's actually in the garage right now. He's also installing some like shelving unit in the garage. 
to it comes in this strip right here there you go so now what I'm going to do is oops you don't want it to unravel really quickly ah okay oh it's actually like that and I'm going to put it here on the edges ooh pretty I'm liking it so I'm basically just going to I'm basically just going to um, nail it right here oh my gosh tonight I'm gonna have a major back pain so let's go ahead and turn this around so now it's time to add the trim so I can add the trim right like an inch away from the an inch away from the the corner or I can also use it like on the very edge I think I would like to use it on the very edge okay every four nail heads you have to add another one so I'm going to do that so yeah let me put the camera a little closer I just hope I have enough of this I think this is the hardest part is not smacking or not hammering my, my nail or my, my hand I kind of messed it up. There you go. Okay, so that's that. Let me put the camera a little closer. So, I'll hold it like that. Okay. Now, I'm finally getting it. Okay, you actually, you actually hold the nail right here like that and then it'll be much easier for you to hammer it see if I you hold it like that first and it'll be easier so I finished the whole entire section now I'm going to work on this side so as you can see that right there that up so that was the first piece so this is the finished headboard I really like how it turned out I thought it looks really nice I just got those two king-size pillows the other day this is the start of the makeover so today I finished this I finish it in probably uh, two hours so I, I'm done with that now all I have to do is find a nice artwork for the the top there and maybe get another a different lamps and some decorative pillow yeah and i will see you in my next video bye